95% positive reviews on Steam. Halls of Torment is set to possibly be a Vampire Survivors killer? This is a Vampire Survivors-esque, survivor-like... What's the genre? Do we have a genre name yet? Vampire Survivors-like, walking simulator, roguelike reverse bullet hell, roguelite farming walking simulator. I've been going with Survivor, survivor-like. Not to be confused with survival games. All right, you guys, look. Halls of Torment! Let's jump into this thing. I feel like being the archer today. I've got quite a few permanent upgrades unlocked already, so don't compare your first experience to mine. And this one, I actually am going to aim. There actually are buttons that I could turn on or auto aim. So you could basically turn it into Vampire Survivors if you'd like. We leveled up, we get four choices. Let's start off with some base critical hit chance. My total right now for crit chance is 20%. Somebody described the skeleton dying noise as somebody dunking their hand into a bucket of Legos and I cannot get that out of my head. Crit damage bonus, there we go. Maybe we just gonna have a, a crit build. That seems pretty good for an archer for like a dexterity build. So, kill enemies. Enemies drop experience orbs. Grab experience orbs, level up. Let's go long fingers. Experience orb pickup range. There's some stuff in the map, like I just broke some barrels and they contain money. There are some more unique ones and some food items that can drop out of these. There's a brazier that you can set a fire, set a blaze. This guy's got a shield. Do you think you're better than me? This game gets like really, really, really difficult. Oh, what do I have right now? Plus 100% damage for a short amount of time. Let me get some of this damage, suckers. Crit hit chance and crit damage bonus for my main weapon or attack speed 8% for everything or 20% attack speed for my main weapon. I'm gonna go 20% for main weapon sounds pretty serious. Next wave of enemies, the blobs. Insert moist noises. Ow, walked into that one. Damage is pretty serious and healing pretty low. Oh, stack them up for me. Mm, give me these piercing arrows. I love that. This guy's gonna drop, uh, what is it? An ability. Radiant Aura. Casts light that distributes its damage equally among all foes in its range. Arcane Splinters. Shoots short-range projectiles in a vertical spread pattern. Projectiles remain for a short while dealing damage to enemies that touch them. Or Lightning Strike. Strike random enemies with lightning and stun surrounding enemies around the target. Hit enemies get electrified. Let's try a Lightning Strike. Everything looks and feels pretty solid about this game so far. My only complaint is that a lot of my runs feel kind of same-same, but I haven't really unlocked a lot of stuff. And this game's pretty brand new. Here's my ability, I finally made it. Transfiction, fires projectiles in the direction you're facing. Damage is reduced for every enemy hit. Chance to apply fragile effect. Ring blades, throws blades left and right in alternation. Blades act like boomerangs passing the character and then flying off screen. Multi hits increase the frequency of thrown blades. I'm gonna go Transfiction here. I've had really good luck with this one. We kind of just shoot out more of these bright red arrows. One more thing we can see on our map, it's this blue aura hand thing. That takes all of the XP orbs that I've missed across the map and it sucks them up into me. I'll head in that direction, sure. Oh, we got our own, we got another one. Plus 0.15 projectiles, so chance to shoot an extra arrow. Good chance. Movement speed. One thing I think that I, I really do like about this game is that they give you so many enemies to kill that it just feels really good to just mow them down. One thing that I don't like is that the upgrades seem so small that they kind of feel like they barely make a difference. I feel like Vampire Survivors, the upgrades are really, really significant. So A, if you don't upgrade by the end, you're screwed. But B, if you do, you feel like a god. Longer fingers too. This one, it almost feels like you could just not upgrade anything and, and still do pretty okay late game. We can upgrade our lightning strike. Crit chance, stun range, or damage and crit damage. Stun range? Like I said, they throw so many enemies at me that AOE is gonna be pretty nice. We need to make an exit strategy here. You're not picking up our experience orbs either. 30% damage my main weapon or 10% damage for everything. Probably 10% for everything. Uh-oh, boss time. 
We're going on sucker. So I said that this is a lot like Diablo. I unfortunately never got into the first Diablo. I wish I would have, but Diablo 2, I sunk so many hours into. Loved, loved, loved Diablo 2. I'm really digging this retro style. I think they really nailed it. All right, this boss dropped an item for us to equip. Quick hand gloves, attack speed, echoing band, damaging an enemy with physical attacks has a 20% chance to deal 40% of the damage as splash damage, whoa, or 10% health capacity plus three defense. I'm gonna go echoing band. I haven't seen this one yet. Did say AOE is gonna be good. Plus one piercing, interesting, interesting. 10% additional attacks. I think I gotta try multi-hit. I wanna shoot more arrows. Multi-hit probably also applies to my abilities as I'm seeing uh, sometimes we're shooting out three of these red arrows. 30% attack speed lightning strike. Minus crit damage, but 30% attack speed. I'm look, look at the lightning, it comes down so frequently. I could just sit here and do nothing. All right, I gotta do something. There are people out there that will do videos specifically on trying to not move during these survivor-like games to see if they can still beat the game. I saw somebody attempt it on this game. They failed horribly. Crit chance. What are we up to now? 30% crit chance. Uh-oh, we got ranged shamans now. Wizards. Here's my favorite thing to do in these survivor games is you do like a circular motion and you try to round everybody up into this death ball, I call it, follow death, and then I just rip shots into that ball of death. But of course, because of the way that this works, the more enemies that you kill, the more enemies that spawn on the outside. So you have to recreate the entire ball of death, which we have done pretty quickly here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Assuming that this is working the same way as Vampire Survivors, there is a strategy there. The more enemies you kill, the more enemies that you get. So it's not just like you get a set amount of enemies and you either kill them or don't. There's a set amount of experience to get. No, it's like the better you play, the better you will do. Crit damage bonus. Coming up with ways to kill more enemies faster is going to elevate your game severely. Once again, assuming that they do spawn uh, an enemy every time you kill one. Bigger slimes split into smaller slimes now. These guys are tricky because you can't just run through a crowd of them. You'll end up walking into the small ones spawning in. And another mini boss, this guy's got a shield, coming to this fire. Come on in. Water's warm. Idiot. Fire does so much damage. You lost your shield, bud. What happened? Roasted. Let's get that ability. Can you guys give me some space here? I need to get in there. Astronomer's orbs. The astronomer's what? Metal orbs that circle around the player and damage enemies. Orbs are indestructible and permanent. I've had this before, have not been very impressed with it. Let's go phantom needles. Fires needles at random nearby enemies in quick succession. Multi hits increase attack speed. This game does work in a timer, so there's a set amount of time that you get to fight enemies until bosses come, until new enemy waves spawn, and until the game is over. Uh-oh, the meat dogs are coming in. These guys uh, move in a circular pattern around you, which is really, really interesting. I can't tell if it's harder or easier to kite them because of this circular pattern. I think it's maybe a little bit more confusing. Oh yeah, the death ball. Oh, that's good, that's good. Your hitbox also seems to be really, really small in this game, which I like a lot. It makes dodging feel really, really cool when you're just barely slipping in and out of the enemies. Uh-huh, uh-huh, whoop, missed me there. Where's that hand? It's over here. Let's go for it. Let's grab it. I haven't been noticing my needles, but I haven't really been looking either. You can see these little purple needles that shoot out. 5% crit chance, 30% crit damage, main weapon, go. More attack speed for lightning strikes. These poison blobs are problematic too. Okay, yep. We're doing really, really well though. Boss time. Look at this, bro. Got a mace. Oh god, and then the super fast skellies that come in. I forgot about those waves. Pretty tough. All of the ranged units I gotta deal with as well. They shoot these little skulls at me. Boss is like going down. Whoa, hey! Oh, 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 oh. Look too soon. I got piercing though, so I can still hit the boss as well as all these other enemies and just melted him. 0.07% damage for each missing health point. Scars of toil. Necromancer's clutch. Every 15 seconds, you summon a skeleton to fight for you. They will perish after a set time, but their life force can be extended. Can handle five summons at once or six block strength. Let's do the Necromancer's Clutch. I need some friends here. Kind of confusing. I guess our guy is looking a little ethereal. 
5% base crit hit chance. What are we up to now? 45%, almost 50% crit rate. Okay, these green skulls that are being shot, those are not going to hurt me. Those are mine. 0.6 additional strikes, lightning strike. More lightning. Lightning is going off right now. About 13 minutes left on the timer here. We got shield skellies, we got the blue shamans, and we got the extra large globs. As far as our stats, we've almost doubled our attack speed. We've doubled our damage. Crit bonus up 230%. Defense up to eight, which is a uh, damage reduction. We have zero block though. I think block is a chance to just negate damage altogether. So I talked about how the upgrades don't feel that meaningful, but the fact that we are firing twice as fast now, I think the game does a really good job of uh, allowing you to level up a lot. Oh God, ow, 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 ow. I will say though that it gets really, really difficult to level up around 40. The fallout for the XP orbs is pretty severe late game. Pretty standard for a game to make it exponential, the amount of XP needed to level up. Ow, I just got shiv. The dogs are back. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Now is about the time that I'm basically just gonna pick a direction and go. There's not really gonna be much death ball in here because we just gotta focus on not getting hit. Damage is severe. You really, really just need to dodge. Is that a ch oh, that's a champion over there. The blue guy. Oh God, I wanna get over to him, but once again, you just gotta, gotta go where it's safest for you. Hard to steer. This guy will fortunately keep teleporting out in front of me. Oh no. We have 400. Oh, I walked right into him. I killed him. He died off the screen. All of this is just, of course, my fault. I didn't really level up my block at all, and I leveled up my speed instead. So we're more into dodging than we are about actually tanking these blows. Phantom Rift. We can upgrade the needles. If needles could still hit more enemies when the maximum range is reached, they deal their remaining damage as magic damage in an area around them. That sounds really cool. I don't know if I've ever had that. There's so much going on that I'm not sure I can really pay attention and, and see them do their thing, but let's assume it's really good. 20% attack speed on those phantom needles. I see them, they're ripping out. I mean, we're, we're shooting a lot of needles. The game is new enough right now that I feel like there's gotta be some combination of items that's incredibly busted and I want to find it. More lightning. We'll get a breakdown of the damage that every single weapon and ability did in the end. So we'll actually get some real numbers to see how they performed. 10 minutes, everybody, 10 minutes. I need one of those blue hands so that I can get all the XP that I've left behind, which is significant. We got Super Blob Wave. The only way for me to get one of those hands is to travel enough, find a barrel or a crate, and hope that we are lucky enough to get uh, oh, the, the blue hand, the suck from these crates or barrels. Oh my goodness, hectic. I like it though. I mean, I really like that it is this hectic and there is this many enemies. It just feels really good to play. It feels like I'm accomplishing something. It's not like too easy, right? I'm constantly trying to survive. Uh-oh, uh-oh, speaking of. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get out. Yes. I got a shield and some speed boosts. Bring it on, suckers. Probably should use this speed to try to find one of those hands. I got one, I got a hand. Oh, let's level up now. Piercing, I guess, for my arrows. 0.6 additional strikes, more lightning. It's minus damage per lightning strike, but they're pretty much just one-shotting everybody anyways, so. Yikes, 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 yikes. Another hand. Lucky me, eight minutes left. What's what's coming? Phantom Needle's damage. Let's go. Oh, the big dogs. And the Lich, the Lich is here. Lich summons a bunch of these purple skeletons that fire oh the orbs at me when they when they die ah! we gotta kill this lich quick can't handle much more of this this is a, a beating oh no oh i lost the lich where'd it go there he is he she they my lich identifies as kill them ah identifies as a bucket of legos let's go base crit chance 10 percent defense and block strength lame Elf capacity and defense. Now we're going wooden ring crit chance. Uh oh, your inventory is already occupied with the following items. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Go chain mail. Super lame. Why do games always forget that we have 10 fingers? Flipping scam, dude. I got the hand. Another one. Level me up, baby. Crit chance. Love it. We are faring really, really well. Six minutes left. 
got an achievement for dealing 750,000 damage with the needles. Look at these crowds of enemies. Thank goodness for all my piercing. Uh oh, is it enough? I'm not sure it's enough. Cut through, we gotta get out. 100,000 enemies in total achievement. Horde Slayer 1. That's the first. Mm, ouch. This game is so easily losable. You really gotta be on top of your dodge game. Another reason why I don't just like auto casting, I really like the ability to aim where I want to so that when I need to, I can carve an exit from the horde. 50,000 skeletons. I feel like we've killed more than that just in the last 10 seconds. More blobs. Oh, we got super green poison blobs too. And the small dogs are back. Another achievement, 20,000 enemies in one run, piercing through. Two minutes left, big dogs are back. Ah, uh, yes, I got a blue hand. Oh, wow, it's getting real tight in here. 40 seconds, I think we're gonna make it. Okay, spoke too soon, ow, ow, ow. Completed Phantom Needle Mastery, I didn't get to read that. Ah, uh, I'm a little busy. All right, we did it, we made it. All right, we gotta fight this guy, he shoots this. Homing curse at me. And now I have 38 seconds to try to kill this boss until I die. I've never actually been able to kill this boss, but we are doing some serious damage right now. This feels pretty good. Are we gonna actually pull this off? Probably not, but kind of felt like you weren't supposed to kill this guy, but maybe we're gonna do it. Are we gonna do it? Oh my God. I did it. No, we're still going. I got 40 seconds to kill this one now. I've never seen any of this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to dodge. Souls of the damned. Ow. Being closer to him, we're doing more damage. Oh my god, we did it. We got him. Defeat the Lord of Pain. What is this? Congratulations, you've survived the Halls of Torment. Glad we got this on camera. First victory. Character level 59. I got 751 gold just walking around. Looks like we get 1800 for surviving and another grand for torment score. I don't know what that means. We can see the damage in the DPS of our weapons and abilities. Standard bow, 3500 DPS. The needles was a little bit higher. The needles did a ton of damage. Lightning strikes, pretty decent damage. DPS, 2,600. This is Electrify, this is Fire, whatever. Electrify, though, actually the DPS on the Electrify was up there, despite the fact that it didn't do a whole lot of damage. Total. The Transfiction, pretty meh. Necromancer's Clutch, our Summoned Skeletons, pathetic. All right, good stuff. I'm kind of surprised I didn't unlock anything. Any new characters. Let me know your thoughts on this, you guys. Do you think this deserves its overwhelmingly positive reviews? My opinion? Yes, I think it's, it's really good. But I want to see more. I want to see this game advance. I want to see new weapons. I want to see new abilities. Of course, I could still unlock them yet. I've been playing this all the time on stream, so don't forget to stop by there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the third save file. Today we're doing challenge number 32. Oops, all bloat. All floor bosses are changed to bloat. Activated items and pickups never activate the correct effect. And Isaac's location is displayed as a random room on the map. Yep, map looks good to me. Yep, solid. Wait a minute.